So recently I found out about this tool called DevilBox. Uh, DevilBox is a Docker LAMP development stack with a valid HTTPS support. I don't know if you if you ever used uh, uh, a LAMP stack on your developer machine like Champ on Windows or Wump on Mac and I don't know Lump on Window on Linux. Um, but uh, I've used them in the past. But uh, for the past f uh, few years, I think past couple of years, I've been using Docker uh, for all my development purposes. But uh, a few um, days ago, I came across uh, this tool that lets you create a LAMP stack on your computer based on Docker, uh, where you can have all your projects in. So today I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to use that. So the first thing, let me open the terminal. Let me put this a bit bigger so you can see. So I'm in my home folder. Let's go into my desktop and I'll work on my desktop. Uh, and let's create a new deer. That will box. And now we're on the clean deer. So to install this, all you have to do actually is just clone this repo. This is all. This is the structure that you you're working with, uh, and this is the most important bit. This is your uh, environment example. So first thing you need to do is you need to copy uh, this uh, file here. And name it dot env. So let's do a move or a copy, and let's call it dot env. Now let's go into our dot env file and let's look at it. So the first thing you hear here is if you want your logs for Docker, um, let's leave that out. Here, normally I change this to local. So all my local domains are named local and not lock. This I'll leave blank. Time zone for me is GMT. Okay. That's all good. Level box passwords. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay as well. And now let's go into the images. Okay, so by default, this is going to work with PHP 7.3, but I don't know. Let's go with the last one. So 8.0. This is using Nginx. So let's go with that. As for MySQL, it's working with MariaDB. Uh, okay, let's stay with that as well. This also brings a, a Postgres server, so let it stay. A Redis server, okay. Memcache server, okay. MongoDB server, let it stay as well. Mount points, we're not moving any of that. So this is the uh, another important part. So this is where you set up the base folder where your projects will be set up. So it's data www. So we just leave that that is as default. This is where our SSH keys will be. This is for Docker settings. So this is important. So if you you want to uh, add some more uh, PHP models, you just have to uh, write them here. So let's say you want mod rewrite. You just write in here and you will install it for you. This is for you to disable some models that come enabled for by default. And this is for you to enable a uh, mail catch. This is the ports for our um, HTTP. -D. So in this case, this will be on the default ports. And that's it. So now let's 
put it all to work so first let me just do this and see if I have any docker running at the moment and I do so let me just stop this one okay so if I do a docker ps now now I don't have anything so in your folder all you have to do is do sudo docker compose up and normally I do a build on the first time and a dash d so it is silent and it just doesn't it doesn't keep uh, running here so this is going to take a while because it's going to need to pull all the images for the MySQL, for the Postgres, for the PHP, for the engines, all of that. So that's what it's doing at the moment. Okay. And once this is done, so let's look, look into the documentation because this is a pretty good documentation here. Uh, so let's look into the install. and let's open the documentation here so this is the documentation this is how everything works um, so we've done this we installed the, the devil box we created the dot demv set it up everything that we needed we start the devil box right now with docker compose so i think that's all we need for now you even have a few scripts here telling you how to configure for some frameworks so you have some examples here for instance for codeigniter do you have an example here however this is for codeigniter 3 uh, for codeigniter 4 you might as well just look at the um, the laravel example because the structure is kind of the same so it's better to just look at this one okay so everything is running so now if you go into our localhost this is what you will see so as you can see here you see that you have your bind with php and apache running your mysql postgres is also running and all the settings that you have here and now you have a few other options here so it says now that i don't have any projects so to simply create a project directly you go into data www and in your host computer just create the folder this is the example that they give you and then you have this to access the project here you'll see all the emails that are being sent on your application and they'll be catched by here this is your database this is the databases that you have now i don't have any database here you have the postgres databases as well the mongodb databases and redis and memcache this is the info files on everything so if you go into the httpd you can see the the info files uh, this is the tools so you actually have a php my admin installed it's also and also at minor that i like okay so let's configure a project so to configure a project you need to go into data www and then as you can see I don't have uh, any uh, folders here so let's follow the example that you have here so let's create a new um, folder called my project so make the year my project okay and inside that folder I need another folder called httpd if i do this now this changes it give me an error because he said that i'm missing the htdocs directory so let's do that so let's go into my project and now let's create another folder right here 
And now if I reload, everything works fine. But once again, it says no DNS record on my HTC hosts. So let's do that. So micro HTC hosts and let's create a new one. So 1.7.0.0.1 and let's say that this one is my project.local. Okay, save and quit. And if I refresh again, everything is okay. So if I access this, now I can see my project. So let's create a new file here and let's say touch index.php and let's create a php tag and let's say echo hello world let's say let's quit refresh and let's look for that index.php found not found Oh, you see, because I, I created the file outside the htdocs folder. So let's move the file. Move index.php to here. And let's move into that folder. So the file is there. I refresh and I have my hello world right there. Okay, so what else can I show you about this? Let's go into our um, our base project on on the the devil box, and you see you have a tool here called shell.sh. So in Linux, uh, to run this, all you have to do is do this. So this allows me to go inside the container. And as you can see, now I'm inside the container and it tells me what tiers are available. I have the share HTTPD, I have the share backups, the var mail and the var log. So this, is a lo this allows me to look at the logs, see the emails that are being sent, uh, check everything about the emails, check the backups and check the HTTPD. By default, I'm inside the HTTPD. So if I do an LS here, I see my project and inside my project, I'll have the htdocs and here I'll have the index.php file. So this is all I have to um, show you for today. This is a, a basic tool that I found. I found it very useful. Uh, I'm already using it uh, on a couple of my projects and I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.